Good morning. Uh, first, I would like to uh, thank to the organizing and scientific committee this very kind uh, invitation to be here. It's really a pleasure. And especially because I'm able to share with you our experience in the rehabilitation of the total edentulous patients. We have succeeded with two different uh, protocols. The first one was the all on four protocol, and it's a surgical protocol uh, which uh, allow us with four implants only to achieve uh, the correct support for our bridges. And then the Malo Clinic bridge that has been developed um, especially for the all on four uh, surgical protocol and will allow the patient to have the fixed teeth with highly statical and functional capabilities. The Malo Clinic bridge was developed as um, the need the necessary reconstruction for the all on four. It can be designed in full acrylic for the immediate provisionals, metal acrylic, uh, metal ceramic for the final bridges. And now we are use, also using PIC as the infrastructure, replacing the metal. So it can also be uh, infrastructure of PIC covered with acrylic or composite or with ceramic. And Classically, this was what we were doing. We were using titanium for, as the material of choice for the infrastructures. In this case, you see a Procera uh, infrastructure. And this infrastructure was prepared to be completely covered with acrylic teeth and um, pink acrylic. Here we can see the shipping of the zirconia crowns. We, know, we all know that zirconia is prone to that problem. But uh, this is not just the zirconia being sensitive to chipping. And here, a fracture of the infrastructure. And usually, this type of problems only happens after some years. And it's due to the titanium fatigue. So by recent articles, we know that by changing the veneering materials and the infrastructure materials, uh, we change the, the pressure uh, in the system, if you want. We change how the forces are uh, absorbed and how they will, um, they will be relieved. It's the combination of all the materials. Uh, sometimes a better, manier, a better material for the veneering, if we change the infrastru infrastructure, then we will have a worse, um, a worse uh, case. So we decided to, try, to give a try to pick, and we were fortunate to, to be in contact with Juvora, and we decided to try a clinical uh, assay to see how this material will uh, behave in this kind of rehabilitations. And so far, we have 34 patients in treatment. And we have already placed 46 uh, peak infrastructures. The average follow-up is still the preliminary results, uh, but the average follow-up is six months, ranging from one month to 14. And uh, together, ourselves and Juvora, and I would like to thank to my fellow countryman Nun Seren and to his, all his uh, team all the help and the knowledge that they are providing us. And of course, we change materials and we must change our protocols also. And you can see here that the area of the, the cylinders is all also all only on in peak material. And that's perfectly okay. It's even better than having acrylic because we know that peak is a very biocompatible material. Everything is wrapped around with this acrylic. Different approaches that we are testing to see how, how they will result. Here we have the final peak infrastructures prepared to receive individual crowns. So here we will do like the ones that I showed you in the beginning uh, with the titanium infrastructure. In this situation, we bonded individual ceramic rounds to each of those preparations. And here we have the x-ray. Also, the EMX crowns are not as radiopaque 
as uh, other materials, but we can see that we have there 12 individual crowns. And so far we are feeling very optimistic with the results that we are uh, finding. And I think that in the, probably in the close future, we will see this material being used much more and in more different applications and with more, uh, probably with more strong indications than, than we are seeing it now. So thank you very much for your attention. It was a pleasure. <laughs>